Buffalo, New York. In so many ways, a forgotten city. At one time, a booming industrial town that was the gateway to the United States, it has since been in decline and has been reforming its identity ever since. Just as its economic and cultural significance has been forgotten, so has its baseball history. Until this season, where the Toronto Blue Jays made Buffalo's Salem Field their home, Buffalo hasn't had a Major League Baseball team since the original Buffalo Bisons played in the National League at Riverside Park and Olympic Park from 1879 through 1885. Between those points though, baseball has been alive and well in Buffalo. From then till now, there's pretty much always been a team called the Bisons in Buffalo, and at one point even two. The team had jumped owners and leagues multiple times, and even had a few opportunities to rejoin the major leagues. Along with the Bisons, Buffalo's made other contributions to baseball history. For years, the new era caps were proudly handmade in Buffalo. Unfortunately, after years of introducing automation and other cost-cutting measures, in 2019 the factory closed and moved their production overseas. And as a longtime cap collector, the decrease in quality that followed these decisions was noticeable. The movie The Natural was filmed in Buffalo, including scenes at War Memorial Stadium, which was the home of the Bisons at the time. Currently the Bisons, and this season, the Blue Jays, play their games at Salem Field, which might be the nicest minor league ballpark I've ever been to. It's larger than any other minor league park, and it's such a welcome view as you exit the Peace Bridge and drive into downtown Buffalo. Now, if you're going to eat anything in Buffalo, it has to be Buffalo Wings. This city is so famous for its wings that the Buffalo Bisons made an anthropomorphic chicken wing as one of its mascots, which might be the creepiest thing I've ever seen. These famous wings were invented at the Anchor Bar, which is still alive and well today. These greasy, spicy bites of crispy chicken are so popular that you'll see them on the menu of nearly every bar in North America. To make our own buffalo wings, start with any amount of chicken. I'm using two and a half pounds here. For each pound of wings, add a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of cornstarch, and a teaspoon of baking powder, and thoroughly massage that into your wings. Buffalo wings are usually deep fried, but I can't in good conscience recommend you do that at home unless it's absolutely necessary. Luckily, the method of tossing in baking powder and cornstarch is a widely known way to get the wings just as crispy in an oven. Put the wings on a foiled and oiled baking sheet and store them in the refrigerator uncovered. Do this for 8 hours if the wings are air chilled and 24 hours if they're water chilled. Once the wings are nice and dried out in the fridge, put them in the oven for 20 minutes at 450 degrees. After 20 minutes, flip them over and put them back in for another 15. In the meantime, we'll start making the sauce. The classic, canonical buffalo sauce is equal parts Frank's Red Hot Sauce and butter. However, if you want to mix things up, honey and vinegar both make good additions. For our two and a half pounds of wings, we'll start by melting five tablespoons of unsalted butter until it starts to bubble. Then, turn off the heat and whisk in five tablespoons of hot sauce. Flip the wings over one more time and put them back in the oven for another 10 to 15 minutes until they are perfectly crispy on the outside. Put them into a large mixing bowl, add the sauce and toss them like they're John Cleggs. Since you're doing this on camera, make sure not to make any mistakes. I said, let's not make any mistakes. Let's try that again. All right, much better this time. Cut up some celery sticks and plate those up with your wings. Take a bite and enjoy the game. And let's see what happens. And he sends a fly ball to center. It is deep. It's gone! 